Hong Kong became important for movie making, Chinese language movie making, for the very simple reason. For many, many years, uh, mainland China uh, has tightly controlled a system of filmmaking. Uh, uh, thematically, uh, a lot of the subjects are off limit. So Hong Kong becomes the movie making center for diasporic Chinese. And then in the late 80s, when China was partially open, you know, some uh, Hong Kong movies can be shown underground or something, you know, in one way. So it also has a high influence on uh, audience in China. Uh, for the, uh, and Berlin has an interesting parallel to Hong Kong. Uh, when I first came to Berlin, it was in the 80s, late 80s, the E still exists. And think along that line. In the situation of Hong Kong, it was East Berlin taking it back. And of course, I mean, today's Berlin is the West Triumph, you know, uh, the Western Germany is, uh, you know, reunifying with East, Eastern Germany. So you have a reverse, you know, reverse image uh, between themselves. Uh, so I think that that's a very uh, good food for thought, you know. I also feel that the people in Hong Kong reminds the world uh, that you cannot take democracy for granted. It's so hard to get it. And it's so easy for you to lose it, it too. Uh, so I hope that those are the messages uh, that these films can uh, bring to um, your friends in Berlin. And Berlin is a you know, wonderful metropolis today. And uh, I, I, I'm glad that you know, the film will be seen by uh, so many different people again.